Lyle Grant, a former National Security Advisor, speaking to me a little bit earlier. Now, the campaign for Britain to leave the European Union was built around uh, that slogan, take back control. The implication, of course, was that decisions about things like security, our borders and our money would all be taken at home and not in Brussels. But our economics editor, Ed Conway, has learned that in the event of a no-deal Brexit, the government might have to rely on the European Central Bank to keep our financial system afloat. Here's his report. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very core, the centre of the City of London. A walking tour with a difference. We're bringing into these ancient alleyways and I think they're very symbolic. You are still within the centre of the most important financial centre in the world, but you wouldn't imagine it, would you, from here? But only when you go behind the scenes do you realise just how integral this square mile is to the UK economy. Most of the world's trades in foreign exchange will end up somehow coming through London. Bullion dealing, the majority of the world's bullion dealt. The price is indeed set within the city of London. Now, as ever, this place is built on trust. Trust that one bank can safely exchange money with another. If people were to face a shortage of euros or dollars, um, the Bank of England would need to borrow those euros and dollars from the ECB from the Federal Reserve. Without these so-called swaps, the financial system simply wouldn't be able to function. This is the plumbing, the architectural plumbing that underlies the international monetary and financial system. And whatever one thinks about all the flaws in that system, these swap lines are necessary. So what are they? Well, remember banks in the city are constantly shifting money from one currency into another, trillions of dollars a day. The worry is if there's a crisis or a moment of panic, say a no-deal Brexit, these flows might suddenly dry up. That's where swap lines come in. Central banks step in and say they'll guarantee there'll be enough dollars or euros to swap into, say, pounds. That keeps the money flowing and the system working. Swap lines were a crucial kind of quasi-bailout during the financial crisis and, according to insiders, the UK would have to rely on them again in the event of a hard Brexit. But would the European Central Bank actually play ball? One can never uh, rule out uh, uh, some sort of uncertain moment where political processes become so complicated that the ECB would be told, uh, or another central bank or the Federal Reserve would be told, you have to revoke these uh, swap lines. It is hard to escape the irony that if Britain left without a deal, then in those first few glorious hours of sovereignty, this country's most important economic sector would have to fall back upon what Mark Carney likes to call the kindness of strangers. And not just any strangers, but the American and, God forbid, the European Central Bank. Faced with the magnificent frontage of both the Bank of England, which is there, and the Royal Exchange. Whatever happens with the negotiation, and there are still plenty of twists and turns left, all eyes will turn here when Britain leaves. In all sorts of ways, still, the City of London, it rules. Whether it will do so again in March is the next question. Ed Conway, Sky News. Now, talking of money, here's a...